Hello, my name is Sarah. I'm a PhD student at Indiana University. I'm going into my fourth year and I have taught a couple different classes at the college level, freshman English, public speaking, and this coming year I am teaching freshman English specifically to international students, students whose first language is not English. So in this video, I just wanna show you guys what I bring to campus with me as someone who does not take classes anymore, but does teach classes. So this is gonna be a what's in my backpack video. So starting off with this backpack, this is actually from Amazon, but my friend Laura has the same exact one and I always complimented her on it and loved it. So she gave me this for Christmas one year. Um, I love it because it is really functional, but it's also really cute. Um, it doesn't look like, I don't know, a backpack like you're just a student. This is like a more professional looking backpack, but it still goes on your back and you don't have to carry it like an actual purse. I made one of these videos last year um, and I had it in a purse, like a laptop purse. Um, but this is a lot more functional for when I'm actually going to campus, not just coffee shops and stuff. So first, starting with this outside pocket. I have the essential requirements for teaching in 2021, which is a mask. This mask here is just from Kitsch, came in a set of three. I feel like everyone has these by now. Um, this is also where I will keep my wallet, my keys. I don't have those in here right now because they're downstairs. I typically also keep headphones or AirPods in here, but those are also attached to my keys downstairs. Um, in the larger pocket, I have some blue light glasses. These are also from Amazon. I'm going to put everything linked in the description box below. I think that these are really cute, very functional. Um, you can get blue light glasses. I have some from the Target Dollar Spot. They were like $3. I really do feel like they help, with, especially when I'm like reading tiny print on screens. I feel like blue light glasses really, really help um, prevent like eye strain, sore eyes, headaches, at least for me. I also have a hair clip. When I'm teaching in the fall, the semester starts in August, so it can be really, really hot when I'm walking to class. So this clip is also from Kitsch. It's super great because I think that it's also like very classy and elegant, um, and it doesn't leave lines in your hair, so I can just clip it up real quick, and then when I get to class, I can have my hair down. Next up, I have a little pen pouch right here. This pen carrier is actually from Muji. This was from a friend as well, but I like it because it um, only keeps like three or four pens, so it's just like minimalist, the bare necessities. I try to keep like one of each thing. So two of my favorite pens are by Papermate, the Ink Joy pens, and I just have this in pink. And then the ink or the Papermate flare pens, and these are like felt tip, and I just carry this one in purple. And I also um, just found out about these Sharpie highlighters that are actually clear on the inside so you can see what you are writing or so you can see what you're highlighting as you go over it if you just like look through it so you know exactly what you're highlighting you don't end up doing one of those things where you highlight the line above it um so this came in a pack of three have a few different colors as well but this is really great for when i'm not reading pdfs but actually highlighting inside books um i also carry around this full set of pens um, I've recently taken to a new studying method where I'm going old school, writing on index cards, which I have right here. Um, I'm actually preparing for my qualifying exam, which I will take in about a month. Um, so when I bring materials to campus, I'm going to bring some study materials with me as well. So I have this set of colored pens. I talk all about my studying strategies in my most recent vlog. Um, I believe that this pack was from Trader Joe's, but this, again, was a gift. People know me. They know to give me gifts of school supplies. Um, these are felt tip pens as well. Those write really great on index cards. Next up, I have a journal slash notebook. So since I'm not taking classes anymore, I actually don't need notebooks, but I love to carry some type of journal if I just find myself in the journaling mood or I want to like write an idea down that I have that I came up in class as I was teaching or a conversation with a friend. And I really like to have like some type of hard copy for that. My favorite journals are ones that are like not spiral bound, that are hard. So you don't need like a surface if you just want to journal in your lap and that are unlined pages. I can link this one on Amazon, comes in a bunch of colors. Next up, I have a book to read for fun. So since all I will be doing is teaching, studying for my comprehensive exam and working at the writing center, there will be some downtime in between shifts at the writing center or in between teaching and getting to the writing center or something like that. So I like to fill time if I'm not studying, reading for fun. So this is Daisy Jones and the Six. This is what I'm currently reading right now. 
um, but I have a long list of books that I want to get into once I'm done reading for my qualifying exam. Next up I have my iPad. This is the iPad 7th generation. I have had this for a year and a half, maybe going on two years. This is single-handedly the best investment that I have ever made. If you're in grad school, you absolutely have to get an iPad. If you're reading a lot, it is so, so, so much easier to just highlight directly on an iPad rather than to highlight on your computer or to have to print everything out, much more eco-friendly as well. Um, the app that I love to use is called Adobe Acrobat um, and you could just download all your PDFs right through there. You can actually handwrite notes, you can highlight stuff, and I just use my Apple Pencil to do that. Next up, I have my laptop. This is just the MacBook Pro. I've had this for a couple years now. I actually have to, had to get a new laptop when I started grad school because I had the old MacBook Pro since I was like a senior in high school and it just wasn't cutting it anymore. Um, when I teach, there's always a computer in every classroom, but it is so useful for me if I just bring my laptop because that way I can set my laptop side by side on the podium. Um, and I use the actual classroom computer to like share my screen, share the PowerPoint and everything like that. And I have my lesson plan typically on my laptop. I know that there's ways to like share a screen of something different and look at something else, but my lesson plan is always super personal to me and it's notes that are sort of all over the place and I would hate if I accidentally shared my lesson plan on the screen or shared a grade book or something that students aren't supposed to be seeing. So it's really useful if I just have this side by side. And again, having my laptop with me prevents me from having to print anything out. And then I have a planner. Um, Again, just like with my notebooks, my favorite planners are ones that are not spiral bound because I feel like they just get so wrapped up in your book bag and it's easy for pages to just get ripped out or something like that. So this one is actually from Target. I'm not crazy about the design, but it's good enough. It feels a little grandma florally rather than like cute vintage florally, but it is what it is. I really like this planner because it has the days of the week and then big blank slots here so you can really just like write whatever you want the way that i've been doing my planning lately is i will actually like just like make little bullet points here and then just check it off or cross it off when i'm done i've also gotten into stickers for my planner lately um like this is when i was on vacation and i just put like vacay stickers for the whole week there are a lot of ways to do digital planning online google calendar um notion like anything you name it but i have found that the only way i'm going to remember something is if i actually write it down in one central planner next up i have this folder right here i think it's super cute it's matte black leather it looks like a giant envelope um, but it's actually really good quality this just snaps open like this and this is where i will carry all of the printouts if i print my syllabi this year which i don't know if i'm going to do because of covid still debating what's the most ethical and useful and practical thing to do there um, and this is really great like before covid i would print out all of my students feedback for their essays and i would just slip it right in here put that in my book bag then i wasn't having to like pull out wrinkled papers from my book bag or dealing with those really papery folders and i think that this one looks really classy and it's very practical and then the final two products that i carry around with me are hand sanitizer of course this is a must have with or without covid you're always touching germs touching door handles stuff like that always really great to have self-explanatory and then i carry around a little ipsy bag um that has just like all of my essentials it has like a little mini deodorant in there it has floss picks um some of those like oil wipes or a stain remover wipe or one of those like stain lifter pens um, because I will be on campus typically for a long time and I typically will eat lunch on campus and if I eat lunch and then I have to go teach I like to feel most confident just by making sure that my face isn't too oily or anything like that. Um, I always have an Ipsy bag with all of those essentials in my class book bag, my teaching book bag, and then any purse whenever I go anywhere. So that is it for my what's in my backpack for this coming school year, August 2021. Let me know if there's anything that you think I'm forgetting. Let me know if any of this was useful for you. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I would love for you guys to keep up with my vlogs. I'm sure there's going to be some really fun back to school vlogs coming very, very soon. Um, also more exam study prep, teaching advice, stuff like that. So again, thank you so much. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.